Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So, Moni warranty videos. I haven't done one for a while, I'm sure you've missed one, but I've got a beauty today. This one, actually, it happened probably about a year and a half ago, and so it's not recent. Just thought I would tell you all about it, because although some of the other ones are almost ridiculous, or this one here did sort of upset us a little bit, because it was regarding an engine we did for a friend of ours, a very good friend of the business. He used to pop in and out and um, see how we were getting on, give us lots of support just before we sort of took over the business, John and I, which was what, five, nearly five and a half years ago now. And um, yeah, we, we sort of, we regarded him as a, a, a good friend really. Um, he's got a couple of classic cars uh, one being an MGT-F, which was, nine, I believe it was 1954. Um, now, he'd, he'd had the vehicle restored. It was a beautiful car. And we'd done sort of work on this engine over the years. Um, and we did actually do a complete engine overhaul on it before we bought the business. So it was probably a year or so before that. It was the, I think it was the 1250 engine. You know, completely gone through. Um, the only thing that was non-standard on it was the cylinder head. The camshaft was uprated and he had a fairly trick rocker setup on it. And also we fitted a modified rear seal. That's the rear crank seal. Um, I don't know whether any of you are familiar with those. They do them on various old engines really. So you do away with, on, on some stuff, you'll do away with the old rope type seal and um, or, the, or the scroll type and you sort of machine that off depending what kit it is depends on what type the modified seal will be but this type in particular was a sort of two-piece aluminium seal carrier that sort of bolted together bolted onto the back of the block and the sump I believe um, and then held you, you ground the crank so it sort of held a, a modern rubber type seal uh, now, I don't know whether any of you out there can picture the, the TF engine. It's got, on the block and the sump, is all like a cast in, it's almost cast around the flywheel. So it's, I don't think you can get the flywheel out without removing the sump. It's very tight, you know. Um, so anyway, did that engine six and a half years ago now, maybe seven years ago. Uh, so this gent came back to us, no problems. I mean, he'd been all over Europe with the thing. He does, he does the miles, he does use it. Um, so I've just brought him up on my computer so I can remember some dates. And what happened was he got back in touch with us about an oil leak. I think it was a core plug leak in the block and also an oil leak from this modified rear seal. So he sort of come back in, you know, very friendly, wasn't blaming us or anything like that. It was obviously, this was, when he came back in was 2000, it was at the end of 2019. Um, we said, yeah, we could have a look at it, uh, but there's not a lot you can do with the engine in. So really we need to have a look at it with the engine out. So that's fine. During the winter, he took the engine out, he brought it into us and I think that was in the January 2020. So unfortunately, because of the design around the flywheel, etc., you've got to take the sump off um, to get the flywheel off or something like that. And it's, it's, it's almost a complete strip down to do anything with this rear seal. To get the crank out is a right old rigmarole. Um, so while we were at it, I think we took the head off, give that a go through. If I just have a little look on the invoice, the invo I did invoice him at the beginning of March 2020 and the bill was about £1,450, something like that. So being a friend, and this is the one of the reasons for this video, it didn't warrant having a full engine overhaul because he'd only had one a few years earlier, but we sort of said, look, we'll get it apart and we'll sort of do anything it needs on the way. Um, but, you know, if anything goes wrong, because obviously 
the way we like to work or the way we definitely work now and don't do anything but, if we take it a bit, it's all done. Whether it needs it or not, it's all done again and we will then stick a warranty on it unless it's competition use. Um, so we ended up stripping the, the engine and investigate the oil leak the seal you can't you couldn't really tell you could see where it was leaking but you couldn't really tell why it was leaking so he went away got another seal kit himself and we fitted that no reason why it shouldn't have worked we sort of put it all back together i think we deglazed the bores put a set of rings in at the time which we wouldn't do now but obviously because he was a friend um we sort of went through the head refaced the head again um refaced the block again because we wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't do that really without, without, we wouldn't fit a gasket without doing that. So that's what we did. Now, you know, bear in mind, it says on here, there was 20 hours labor in there. So, you know, a thousand, a thousand pounds of that 1400 odd was, was labor. And then you got VAT on top, you know, VAT inclusive of that 1400 odd. So it wasn't a lot of money we charged him. Anyway, it goes away and Basically, I think it was, uh, so that was March. In June, he brought it back saying he'd still got an oil leak from this rear seal. Uh, wasn't really kicking off because we said, look, we normally like doing it properly, obviously, but he didn't really want to spend the money. It, he reckons it didn't really warrant doing a full build. So it was one of those, really. Um, we... So he come back in, yeah, the, in the end of June, he came back with this oil leak. Um, now, prior to that, when we did the 1400 odd pound build, he said, look, just do that. If, if it happens again, you know, I won't hold it against you. And I specifically remember hearing him say, I won't hold it against you. Um, so end of June comes back, still got an oil leak. So we investigated the oil leak and it turns out it wasn't, it, it didn't look like it was coming down from behind the flywheel. So we were a bit mystified. We give him another bill there because we had to do some other things or we had to get it on the ramp and take the gearbox off and stuff like that to sort of have a look. Anyway, he goes away a month later, he rings us up. It turned out that it had got a gearbox oil leak. Um, so that was that. About two months later, he rings up, didn't say how many miles he's done. Bear in mind, this was the summer, so he could have done tons of miles. I don't know. I didn't know where he'd been. But he basically said, it's still leaking oil. Um, it turns out that he thinks it is engine oil. And what he's going to do is he's going to take the engine out and he's going to send it up country to this MG specialist. Now, I'm not going to mention a company name or a, or a any names at all on that. Um, he said, that's what I'm gonna do and um, I'll let you know what he says. And I said, well, he sort of almost lost confidence. By this time, he's, he's not getting shirty, but he's not that happy. It, it was one of those really where, understandably, okay, we didn't charge him that much money, but we sort of did go through it. And if he's got a leak from this rear seal, then, you know, it's one of those. It was just the fact that he, we didn't really want to get involved with it and do it the way he said. And he did say he wouldn't hold it against us. But by now, he's starting to sort of hold it against us. So he decides he wanted to send it up country to this um, chap. Um, so he sent it up there. The guy stripped it. And I actually rang the bloke, the guy who got it stripped, and spoke to him to see what he found. And he said... No, this was a guy that done. He does a lot of these MGTFs, um, and he sort of knows them inside and out. And he's fitted a lot of these rear seals. Um, so I rang him up. I said, "What have you found?" He said, "Look, to be honest with you, I've spoke to the customer, and I've said, look, most of what you've done is it, it doesn't need to be done again. It's all absolutely perfect. Um, the seal does look like it's leaking, but um, it's." It's not disastrous, he said, but I'll tell you now, I've told him, the guy this, and bear in mind the customer went and got his own seal kit. He said, These, the seal kit he supplied is a bit crap. 
Um, we supply this other one, blah de blah, and I guarantee it won't leak. He said, so bear in mind, you know, you face the block, the balls are fine, the head's all done. All we've got to do really is put it back together. Um, and he said to me, I don't expect the bill will be any more than sort of but what he paid you really. Um, if we've got to put some more parts in it, it may be a little bit more. About six weeks later, the guy finally gets it finished. The customer then turns around to us or sends us a, a, an email, and I've still got all the emails, sends us a sort of pre-solicitor's email stating that he's had his engine back, the guy found lots of faults, and the bill was, I think the bill was about four and a half thousand pounds. I obviously responded to that. I was fuming at the time. I've, I've responded to that email saying, well, I spoke to the chap. I did say to you to start with that, you know, you weren't going to hold it against us. We didn't really want to go about and sort that. It wasn't our engine to start with. It was it was the previous bosses. It was years ago. We're talking, you know, four, four, four and a half years ago, the engine was done. But if you had an oil leak, fair enough. You know, we could have give you your money back or something like that. But anyway... I spoke to the chap that you sent it to and he said to me, he promised me that it wouldn't be hardly any more than what, you know, we were, um, what we charged you. But turns out he was lying. I don't know whether it's um, his sort of sharp practice that he uses. I haven't got a clue, but very naughty. We would never do that. And I was absolutely livid about it. So the emails kept coming in. Um, I did sort of offer to give him his money back and stuff like that. And he, we got, in the end, I got our insurance um, involved to sort of have a look at it and their legal department have a look at it. And they said, look, you can go away and get your own solicitor and this, that, the other, but it's going to end up costing you God knows what. He's like a dog with a bone and he's not going to give up. Just pay the bill. So we ended up paying the bill. I mean, there was so much stress over it. The guy just totally turned on us. And um, I don't know, I just feel, I do understand if we'd done the motor and he got an oil leak, fair enough. But to send it away and, you know, then give us a bill for three times more what we charged him, I just found it a little bit naughty. Um, I didn't try and get hold of the, you know, the specialist because you get all, you know, you just get all the bull crap under the sun. And I just, you know, I was so livid with him. Um, but I don't know, guys, you more than welcome to um, comment down below, see what you think. Um, maybe he's right and um, I'm wrong and we should have paid that. I don't know, but that just seemed a bit, bit excessive to me, really. Um, especially when he wouldn't even, he, he specifically wanted to send it up to this chap. Um, he didn't really give us the opportunity to take it back. Um, and it was, but at the time it was very awkward because we were supposed to be pally with him. So the moral of this story is everyone that comes in here is our friend. Um, even proper friends that come in here with work, we do it properly, you know, and we don't cut corners to try and save on money or anything like that. We'll do it properly. We won't we won't spend anything more than we have to, but we will do all the machining and do it properly. And then if there is a problem, then you come back to us um, and we'll go from there. But yeah, just a little lesson learned there, really. Um, obviously, I haven't seen the chap since. Um, cost us loads of money. And there we go. Tough one, that, really. But um, yeah, feel free to comment down below, guys. Let me know what you think about that. Until another one, like, subscribe. And I'll see you in another video. Cheers, guys.